What's up? Back again, fellas. Oh yes, we're gonna start a new little thing weekly, hopefully. That's right. Back in the day, old school, throwback Thursdays, baby. That's right, we've been doing the SMCs now for almost 14 years. This is actually season two, can you believe it? Check this thing out, DVDs. Who even knows, remembers what these things are, right? I mean, old school, old school visor. We're gonna go old school episodes. So you're gonna get a kick out of that. I don't have no beard, so if you're watching the video and you say, well, we shaved, I like him better with the beard. There was no beard back then. I was baby face smooth, my friend. So we're gonna play back some old videos every Thursday, we're gonna drop them your way. And uh, it's gonna be funny, it's gonna be real funny. So drop some comments below, let me know what you think. And uh, of course, sponsors have changed. You might see some stuff in there that I'm not using anymore or whatever, so don't throw a bunch of hate out there and say, oh my gosh, he's, you know, he's doing this, he's doing that. It's going to be funny, so let the ribbon begin. Hi, I'm Scott Martin, and welcome to the Scott Martin Challenge. I've got a really cool show for you today. We're here in Missouri on Lake of the Ozarks, and we're fishing against Dion Hibden. He took it a little hard last year in Arkansas when I beat him, so I've got my work cut out for me today. This little jig might do the trick. All right, boys, it's a rematch. I'm not gonna let Scott beat me on my home lake. That ain't happened. I got a couple of deals going. I mean, if we have to do a plan A or plan B, we're gonna beat Scott this time. It ain't happening like it did in Arkansas. All right, dude, rematch. I'm ready. Rematch time. I'm ready. I'm right here on Lake of the I've never even been to Lake of the Ozarks. It's my first never? time ever, never. I've fished Beaver Lake. Your dad didn't even give you a map or no, nothing? Come no, on. no, no, no. I just, I, I called him though. He did give me a few tips, so, yeah, so I'm I, sure. I, but I've got my work cut out for me. You are the master on this lake. Challenges right now. I know how to fish a boat dock. You're in trouble. You today. gotta give me a little help. I gotta at least follow you and I'll fish somewhere around you. Fish boat docks. I mean, okay. That's, is that's there a few of them out there? There's a couple boat docks out here, all right? Just fish boat docks. Well, right? let's go right now. I smoked your butt in Arkansas, but I'm sure you're gonna you've happen. got you've got some tricks up your just, sleeve. Just save it. Just save it. Ain't gonna happen this week. I got it. I got you. You come to the in. wrong pond, bud. I've got you down. You know what's well, what's gonna happen whenever uh, you lose in the, here on the home lake? Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Just save it. Family's gonna, gonna, gonna be all right with you, right? Uh, yeah, if I lose, I'll have to move. That's for sure. Dad wouldn't even. I mean, yeah, it would be all pathetic. Right, like Let's... they say in racing, start your engine. <laughs> That's right. Let's go. I tell you what, we're on Lake of the Ozarks, and I fish Beaver Lake quite a bit. We fish in the FL Living Tournament there every year. We're a couple hundred miles north of that up in Missouri now. And this lake looks like Beaver Lake, but it's got a lot bigger fish in it. And the water, the real noticeable change now is the water's not as crystal clear as on Beaver Lake. So we'll probably be able to catch some nice largemouth today. And that's, that's really what I'm gonna need to, to catch to beat Dion. Cause he doesn't, he doesn't go for those little spotted bass. He catches those big largemouth, 15, 18, 20 pound bags on this lake. So I've got a spinning rod with me to get me out of jail free card. You know, my little shaky head worm. But I tell you what, a big jig, a tube, power baits are going to be the key for today. I'm going to be fair with you. You pick it, left or right arm. Which one? Whichever one you want. All right, I'll take the left one. Okay. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Denny Briar did that in, in the uh, first Super Bass he ever won. He was fishing with Ronnie Young. Guy, quit fishing 10 years ago, but uh, two sticks, two little old, tiny sticks sticking out of the water and they're about a boat length apart and he says, pick one Ronnie, I'll take one on left. Ronnie catches an eight pound <laughs> and Denny, <laughs> Denny don't catch one off his stick. Dang, I can't believe I let him fish. There's one, that's a good one there, that's a good fish. That should be a keeper. 15 inch lemon on the blacks today. I'm on the board, Dion. <laughs> There's one. Oh, that was another good one. Good spot. Look at this spot. Now that's a spot right there, boys. That is a spot. Hey, tr hey, Dion, you hear that train coming? <laughs> there he is. Oh, Dion, I'm coming. There he is. You know what I did on that fish? Dragging that jig along, hopped it up, brought it back to the surface, and let it fall back down. When it hit the bottom, you're swimming off with it. I 
apparently gave you the right right leg of this place. Let's, uh, whenever you're ready, come on out there and we'll move <laughs> to another spot. <laughs> Let me catch one more, I'll finish my lemon off and we'll get on out of here. That's got to sink his boat. You ain't letting him keep them 12 inches, are you? Where's 12 inch Kentucky anyway? Well, we're on the board, girls. Scott, we're gonna leave. We're gonna go. Uh, we're we're gonna go pick the best arm of this next one. Benzo, I give you the best spot on this one. Uh, I'm gonna go fish all the good stuff for the next one. So, Dan, I'm following you. As soon as I see that E-Tech cranking up, man, I'm following you fast because I know where you're going. You're going to the best spot, and I'm following you. I'm gonna lose you so bad your Garmin GPS won't even lead you there. It's a big large mouth. Oh. -ho -ho! Stay on, baby. It's pretty fast. The new E-Tech from Evinrude. It's time you got it. I think I got it. Just right around the corner. I'll fish oh, this one and either one of them. I didn't let you pick in this one. <laughs> Look, you go take that one. Yeah. All right. The challenge is on. He's giving me the secondary spot. Let's see if I can beat him in that. And now that I know what Dion's looking for, he's looking for the coves that have the flatter banks in them, the docks with the flatter banks. See, the contour lines are off the shoreline pretty far here. The yellow is the shore, and that blue line is the actual depth change. And so that depth change line is farther off the yellow, which means that that bank there is shallower than, say, this bank over here. This bank here, the contour line is closer to the yellow. That means that that bank's steeper. That shoreline right there where that contour line's off, that's the shallow side. That's going to be the key for today. Good fishermen come from good water. And when I say that, you look at the guys that came from the Toledo Bend, Sam Rayburn area. Um, you look at the guys that came from the California Delta you know, area. And, and, and there's always good fishermen come from great lakes. And, and Lake of the Ozarks, oh gosh, dog. Lake of the Ozarks, no different. I grew up catching fish. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that I grew up around the water. I grew up catching them, you know, and and there's nothing that'll teach you more about it than, you know, being able to go out there and actually do it and perform and catch fish. A real good tip when you're fishing docks with a jig or anything like a Texas rig, worm, or a jig, when you skip it up under something, peel out some line because you want that bait to fall all the way to the bottom without you holding resistance on the line. A mistake people make sometimes is they'll flip it into a place like that and they flip it in and they just hold their line and actually there's a little bit of tautness to your line and it actually will pull that bait away from the cover as it's sinking down. So what I like to do again is I'll pitch it into a place and I'll peel off some line. That allows that jig to fall straight to the bottom. Now I'll lift up and see if there's anything there. If one's got it, he'll swim off with it. They don't usually spit it out. That's what they're feeding on around them docks. Now, it's not illegal for me to go ahead and like pitch that around, is it? Is there any live bait rules in this tournament? There's one. Little one. Oh, 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 come here, stay. Stay in the boat. Stay in the boat, stay in the boat. I don't think he's 12 inches. <laughs> he's a keeper. He's a keeper. Look how big he is. Oh, look how big he is. He's 10 pounds. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's a keeper. You hear of all good, all good jig fishermen, soft plastic fishermen and stuff like that. They're all line watchers. We all pay very, very close attention to our line and, and uh, makes all the difference in the world. When you go to these little subtle baits like this, your Cinco type baits and your 
jigworms and stuff like that, it becomes even more important. Because now you're throwing that fish a real subtle, subtle bait. Well, he don't have to. It doesn't have to be a big, vicious strike. So therefore, a lot of the bites you get are just, oh, there you go, you know, and you just see your line take off sideways or something. So, you know, line watching is really key in that instance, you know, and makes a huge difference. <laughs> I got to Scott's dock before he did. Well, we're on the board finally. He's got plenty of shed in him, doesn't he? As you can see, there's no more docks back in there. So this is the last really good piece of cover for him to stand around to ambush food. So Dion catches his best fish on Scott Dock, and I caught my best fish on Martin Dock. If you can edit that somehow together, it can be pretty funny. I'm gonna stay to the left. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> stay to the left. Fish. There, he's right on the end of that dock, right where the bushes are. All right. All right. See, again, this is a dock. I mean, there's, tr there's a tree growing out of this one. I mean, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's finding these docks that, that have been here the longest. And also, the longer they've been here, probably is more, there's more Christmas trees down there because nobody likes to throw the Christmas tree out by the dump. They like to take it and sink it out here on their dock. So if this dock's 20 years old, there's probably 20 Christmas trees down there. And the guy's got little fishing pole holders on the end. That tells you something. That's where all of his Christmas trees are. Golly, something just knocked it. It's a good one, it's a good one. Oh yeah. All right. He hit it and dropped it. And then hit it again. And I nailed him! <laughs> Beyond! Awesome. All right. I know we're in the right spot now. Shoot, lost him. That was a big old Kentucky, dude. Son of a gun. There he is. That's a good one. Oh, man, that's a good one. I hadn't even turned him yet. Holy cow. Oh, look at this big, giant black. It's a big, large mouth. Oh, oh, oh. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Stay on. There we go. Yeah! That was awesome. Dion! Look at the name on that dock. It's Martin Dock. That fish came up and ate a, sh a shad and blew up on him, and I casted my jig over there and swam it out. Boom! He nailed it. Awesome. We'll put him on the big side. And you got that one. We are going to uh, try to save a little grace here, uh, try to catch us some big old hybrids or something out here. They really mob up out here, so we're going to try to put something in the box so we don't go in empty handed today. There he is. That's the way we do it. They are so f predictable today. It's so cool. Again, fish came right on, 
the end of that dock where the uh, bushes are. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's getting ugly, Dion. You better be catching them, dude, because they're biting over here. All right, Scotty. I hope you got a real big one. <laughs> Next size, I think. Where's an old fat guy? That might be a lot of things. But by God, I'm an outlaw. I can catch anything you want to catch. <laughs> you want to go catch crappie? Let's go do that. <laughs> camera crew went. I mean, my camera crew went to sleep. They were so bored watching me bass fish. By God, we were live it up. Well, Scott, I'm telling you, it was a hard day for us, but we finally got our five fish limit, and we're gonna bring them to the scales and weigh them up and see what goes on. We. Uh, we kind of had to throw a mixed bag at you though today. It was kind of tough on them old bass, so uh, I had to come out here and resort to catching something. All right, Dion, our challenge is up, man. The day was officially over. It's on, buddy. This ought to be cool. Yeah, I tell you what, I had I had a blast, man. I mean, we, we went in those little shallow pockets. And you said right or left, and I went left, and I'm glad I went left. All right, you ready? Let's see them. Let's see come what we on. got in here. Pretty good looking box. Broken back large mouth. Two, two pounds, two, 242 in tents. 242 cool. on the first one. Another nice one. That one's got a broken back too. I was on the broke hey, back pattern what, today. What, what's the deal here? This, this is almost, it's two broken back ones. 240. All right. Nice little spotted bass. Good old fashioned spotted bass. Two pounds even. One without a broken back, that's always nice. 2.2. <laughs> you can catch something bigger than two pounds. 2.2. Two. I mean, now, be, now I, 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 did, I caught a lot of fish about that size today, and I needed a hard, I needed a big fish. Yeah. And this fish blew up on the dock on a shad, and I threw my jig over really? there. And this might have done it for me right oh, here. Oh, looky there. Look at that thick, thick fish, dude. Big old pretty bass, I mean, that, hey, in our last challenge, I caught one about this That's big, right, too. And did. I had to dig through a tree to get him. You did. That's a big, man. Five, 48. Cool. Five, 48. Oh, that's 14 and a half pounds, dude. You've got, you've got, I mean, that's a good bag for here. That's a nice bag for right now. All right, let's see what you got, dude. That's a nice bag let's for here right now. Let's see what you have. If you get beat, man, you might have to sell your boat and everything. It's embarrassing to have to bring in a little spotted bass, I mean. One pound even. Good gosh. Ah, there is a large mouth. A little large mouth. Okay. 184. Well, now he's going to the big side. Now we're going to have to show you what I'm actually good at here. All right? My cameraman told me that this was a fishing tournament. I thought, man, this is all right. All right, we got one to start with, all right? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Huh? Whiskers? Well, you are right. It was a fishing tournament, but it's a bass fishing tournament. You didn't say that when we went out this morning. Uh, I, you you know said what? this is a fishing derby. You know what? I don't know about you, man. 162. Huh? 162. Well, I'm still behind. I mean, it ain't like I'm Catfish. catching you yet, but. I thought this was a largemouth bass tournament. What? Really? What? No. Uh, what? What? What kind of tournament? Cut, cut. Come cut. on, wait. Just Come wait. On now. Come on. You didn't gotta say... have, we're going to have to have a meeting about this. You didn't say, you didn't say bass tournament, did you? This morning? Really? No kidding? Oh, kid? man. 546. Really bastard? Me. No, come on. And you gotta. 
<laughs> really? I mean, come, come on. on. Come on. It, it, it's... Oh, you're killing me. We didn't get specific on the rules this morning. No, you didn't. And I, I mean, you I took hate, advantage of I it. I hate that for you, but. You know, break the scale. 740. 740. I don't know what all that adds up to, but you, you've got like 16 something <laughs> pounds. You've got me beat I mean, in a fishing tournament. You it's said fishing. Challenge. You said fishing tournament. You didn't say bass well, tournament. I'll, this I'll give it to you. We'll call. We'll call this kind of like a double double win. Here. <laughs> I want them a largemouth, and you want in the fishing tournament. How about that? You know, I, I'm a we'll have to do another rematch. I'm a sportsman. I mean, I you know you didn't say bass tournament. I like the bass fish, but I mean I like catch fish. Period. So. <laughs> well, listen, I enjoyed it, man. We'll have to do a rematch because now if you somehow figure all that, we're still kind of tied. Now yeah, or basically. So one rematch eight. on Okeechobee one day. How about that? That sounds good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. I had a blast. This is my first time fishing the Lake of the Ozarks, and I learned some stuff. Fishing those docks, fishing the jig, it was a lot of fun. So tune in next week when we're on with a new lake with a new challenger. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge.